Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's Wednesday, midweek, August the 31st, 2011. I'm D. Martez, your brother, cousin, uncle, best friend, co worker, castmate, neighbor, everything wrapped up into one. Thank you for coming to dmartez.com to hear today's show. I'm your source for information, inspiration, and laughter. And that's P. Diddy featuring Dirty Money you hear in the back. Good morning. Yes, what a good, good morning. Hi, today here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, 97 degrees. Stepped outside this morning. The smoke, the haze, it's still there. Yeah, a couple of friends were posting on Facebook about the smoke yesterday. And a lot of people didn't know where the smoke was coming from. Um, but it's from a marsh uh, fire that was in New Orleans, in the New Orleans area, covered New Orleans. So that smoke made its way here to Baton Rouge about 6 p.m. yesterday. So no, it wasn't the old man who lived on the next street burning trash and debris. It uh, was from the marsh in New Orleans. Okay, on today's show, I'm going to give you the world's most powerful black women, also rapper T. T.I. released from jail today, but uh, not going home. And I'll tell you where he's going. Janet Jackson says it's too difficult to attend her brother's musical tribute. And a teacher suspended for calling first graders future criminals. Was she wrong for that? Wow. I'll give you the story on that in just a moment. But first, birthdays. I want to give a personal birthday shout out to Kirsten Pate. I call her KP. She's married now, but she's always KP to me. So Kirsten, happy birthday to you. Now, on Facebook and Twitter, I did ask you all if you knew someone who was having a birthday either today or tomorrow to email me that person's name and um, I wish them happy birthday in a very unique DeMartez way. So that's what I plan to do. So all of you whose birthday is tomorrow, September the 1st, this is for you. DeMartez wants to give you some ice cream and cake for your birthday. Yeah. Oh, get it, get it. Slip, 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 yeah. Slip it. Hold up, Tad T. Ride with your boy, not slip and slide. That's the ice cream and cake song. So, tomorrow, September the 1st, Thursday, happy birthday to William Ferris, Michelle Harmison, Portia Palmer, and Kimberly Sanders. Happy birthday to y'all. And my cousin, Lanasha Coleman. Their birthday is tomorrow, September 1st. So the first of the month. This is your ice cream and cake from DeMartez. Ride with your boy, now slip and slide. That is so funny. Hold up, now tag team. Okay, so what about the 2011 MTV Video Music Awards? Guess what? A lot of people watched that award show. Uh, it actually earned the highest ratings for any show or telecast on MTV in 30 years. 12 million people watched the 2011 Video Music Awards. The 2010 Video Music Awards was watched by 11.4 million people. When Beyonce announced that she was pregnant on the Video Music Awards, she crushed the current tweets per second record. So how many tweets about Beyonce being pregnant were tweeted? 8,868 tweets per second. Per second, you all. So that's like one, two, three, four. That's 8,000, 8,000, 8. Wow, about Beyonce being pregnant. So she broke the record. Justin Bieber got into a minor fender bender on yesterday. Yeah, Justin Bieber was driving his Ferrari and he got into a fender bender with the Honda Civic. What a major difference, huh? Ferrari, Honda Civic. Big, big difference there. Okay, so you know I like to support P. 
people that are doing their thing here locally. So that's what I'm about to do right now. Up and coming R&B artist K Wish is having his listening party and performance on Wednesday, September the 7th from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. at the M Bar located at 350 3rd Street that's downtown here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. It's going to be a live band. K Wish is going to preview some new music from his up and coming new album that's coming out in December. And you know, K Wish was on the show before. His uh, big big hit Say Hello to My Haters. Say hello to my yeah, I've played that here on the show before. K Wish doing his thing. So, if you want to check out K Wish website, check him out at www.colinwisham.com. And uh, he's doing his thing. Very talented guy. Real down to earth, cool. Makes really good music there. K Wish. Now, if you're in the mood for a play, remember when I did Dream Girls uh, with New Venture Theater? They're a local community theater here in Baton Rouge. Well, they have a new play coming out called The Abduction of Mother Goose. And um, I did a commercial for them. They asked me to be a voice in their commercial. Very honored. Thank you for that. And um, I'll play the commercial. And it's the, you know, advertising the show. So here it is. The Abduction of Mother Goose by D. Martez. New Venture Theater presents The Abduction of Mother Goose. Nikki and Mandy are tired of princesses always needing to be rescued, so they devise a scheme to abduct Mother Goose and force her to write tales with stronger princesses who can fend for themselves. And please, lock a boy in a tower for once. The Abduction of Mother Goose runs September 15th through the 25th. Visit NewVentureTheater.com or call 216-0660. It's time to get goose. Yeah, time to get goose. My mother heard that and she says, that doesn't even sound like me. And I'm like, well, mom, who does it sound like? She's like, I don't know, but it just doesn't sound like you. So, since you're here on the website, be sure to click on the Artist Corner tab to get uh, more information about K-Wish and New Venture and that play, The Abduction of Mother Goose. The 10, well, it's 10 of them, but I'm going to only give you a few today. World's Most Powerful Black Women. And this was released by Forbes.com. Okay? So, they've got the power, and who are they? Well, I'll give you three of them, okay? Michelle Obama, First Lady of the United States of America. She's the world's most powerful black woman. Obama's wife continually commands media attention for her efforts towards ending child obesity and has developed a cult-like following among the world's fashionistas for her stylish inclinations. In the past year, she has made official and non-official trips to at least four continents, including a visit to South Africa. Obama, Michelle Obama, is the bomb. Okay, Ursula Burns, CEO of Xerox. Yeah, she's powerful. First worked for Xerox in 1980 as a summer intern. Joined the company full-time in 1981 after obtaining her master's, master's degree in mechanical engineering for Columbia University. She worked through the ranks to become vice president in 2000 and was named CEO in 2009. She got the power. Now here's a surprise, maybe. Beyonce knows! Yeah, Jay-Z's wife is all grown up now. She turned 30 this year and is now taking responsibility of her own business concerns. In March, she relieved her father, Matthew Knowles, as her business manager. She has earned 16 Grammy Awards in her career. She runs a fashion label, House of Varian, and released her fourth solo album, Four. The album debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 charts, selling 310,000 copies in its first week. Beyonce has the power. And um, I'll give you more powerful women on Friday's show. But uh, yeah, very, I was surprised with Beyonce. I mean, you know, I know Beyonce's the bomb and all that. But 
I was still surprised. Rapper T.I. released today from prison, but not going home. I wonder if Tiny will have his back uh, when he gets out. That's his wife. I'm sure she will. But it's been confirmed that the King of the South is being released from the Forest City Correctional Facility in Georgia, where he served his 11-month sentence. T.I. isn't totally free just yet. He'll be living in a halfway house. Now, he's been keeping his fans in touch via trapmusic.com. And here's what he wrote. Next time you hear from me, I'll be back out there with you. Doing for those who can't do for themselves and speaking for those whose voices are never heard. When I touch down, I'm going all the way back to square one like I'm fresh in the game and never sold a record. Now, T.I. did a good thing while incarcerated. Uh, a couple of months back, he sponsored a Memorial Day bus trip for families of 14 inmates. Now, that's nice. And that's T.I. and Carrie Hilson in the back with Gotcha Back. I like that. So Janet Jackson, yes, Janet Jackson says it's too difficult for her to attend the tribute to her brother. Okay? She says she just can't do it. And it's basically because of the trial. The timing of the tribute to her brother would be too difficult because of that trial. And you know, that trial's coming up. Uh, opening statements are expected to begin on September 27th. And the trial is likely to last four to six weeks. Conrad Murray has pleaded not guilty to involuntary manslaughter and faces a four-year prison term if convicted. Now, what's funny is, um, you know, Randy and Jermaine are totally against the tribute to Michael Jackson. It's called Michael Forever Tribute, and it's scheduled to take place in Wells on October the 8th. Christina Aguilera, CeeLo Green, and Smokey Robinson are due to headline the concert. So, you know, it's Randy and Jermaine, always drama with them. They're always, you know, saying something. They don't like something. She bit me. She hit me. She do that. Okay, teacher suspended for calling first graders future criminals. She wrong for herself. This happened in Patterson, New Jersey. Jennifer O'Brien has been suspended from her job as a Patterson, New Jersey first grade teacher after she made a post on her blog referring to her students as future criminals. O'Brien claimed that she wasn't a teacher but a warden for future criminals and said that she wanted a scared straight program for young students. The American, the New American reports O'Brien was suspended because the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People was upset with her comments as was the president of the Patterson School Board. O'Brien is white. Most of the students are black and Latino. So that's the question of the day. Do you think that Patterson, um, O'Brien, Jennifer O'Brien, was wrongly suspended? Was she wrong to be suspended? Yes, no. Answer the question right here on the site. If you want to express yourself more, you can email me at dmartez at dmartez.com. I love hearing from you, love reading your emails, love getting feedback. Well, that's a wrap for today's show. I'll leave you for now, but I'll return on Friday with a new edition of the Demartez Show. Follow me on Twitter at d underscore martez, or you can like my Facebook fan page. That's dmartez, and you can... um. You know, hit me up. I post things on Facebook. I post things on Twitter. You know, I try to keep it inspirational and funny. I'm not just going to tweet and say, I'm hungry or I'm going to the store. You know, I try to always keep you in the loop. Be sure to visit the site later on in the day. Read the informational blogs. I keep you informed. Be sure to read that blog about Prophetess Juanita Bynum, who posted a message on Facebook in tongues. She was speaking in tongues, and she posted that on Facebook. Very interesting, indeed. All right, well, I'll leave you with some music. Here is Vicky Winans. Vicky did a twist to the old traditional gospel hit, How I Got Over. And um, you might could dance to this. You may like it. Remember, Demartez, your source for information, inspiration, and laughter. Remember, Demartez, I love you listening. <laughs>